Welcome to Dang Dang Ka Channel. Categories Celebrity Biography Vladimir Putin Biography NY Biography.com Vladimir Putin served as President of Russia from 2000 to 2008, and was re-elected to the presidency in 2012. He previously served as Russia's Prime Minister. Synopsis In 1999, Russian President Boris Yeltsin dismissed his prime minister and promoted former KGB officer Vladimir Putin in his place. In December 1999, Yeltsin resigned, appointing Putin president, and he was re-elected in 2004. In April 2005, he made a historic visit to Israel, the first visit there by any Kremlin leader. Putin could not run for the presidency again in 2008, but was appointed prime minister by his successor. Dmitry Medvedev. Putin was re-elected to the presidency in March 2012. In 2014, he was reportedly nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Early political career. Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin was born in Leningrad, now Street, Petersburg, Russia, on October 7, 1952. He grew up with his family in a communal apartment, attending the local grammar and high schools where he developed an interest in sports. After graduating from Leningrad State University with a law degree in 1975, Putin began his career in the KGB as an intelligence officer. Stationed mainly in East Germany, he held that position until 1990, retiring with the rank of lieutenant colonel. Upon returning to Russia, Putin held an administrative position at the University of Leningrad, and after the fall of communism in 1991 became an advisor to liberal politician Anatoly Sobchak. When Sobchak was elected mayor of Leningrad later that year, Putin became his head of external relations, and by 1994, Putin had become the Sobchak's first deputy mayor. After Sobchak's defeat in 1996, Putin resigned his post and moved to Moscow. There. In 1998, Putin was appointed deputy head of management under Boris Yeltsin's presidential administration. In that position, he was in charge of the Kremlin's relations with the regional governments. Shortly afterward, Putin was appointed head of the Federal Security Service, an arm of the former KGB, as well as head of Yeltsin's Security Council. In August 1999, Yeltsin dismissed his prime minister, Sergei Stapashin, along with his cabinet and promoted Putin in his place, President of Russia, first and second terms. In December 1999, Boris Yeltsin resigned as President of Russia and appointed Putin acting president until official elections were held, and in March 2000, Putin was elected to his first term with 53% of the vote. Promising both political and economic reforms, Putin set about restructuring the government and launching criminal investigations into the business dealings of high-profile Russian citizens. He also continued Russia's military campaign in Chechnya. In September 2001, in response to the terrorist attacks on the United States, Putin announced Russia's support for the United States in its anti-terror campaign. However, when the United States war on terror shifted focus to the ousting of Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein. Putin joined a German Chancellor Gerhard Schroeder and French President Jacques Chirac in opposition of the plan. In 2004, Putin was re-elected to the presidency, and in April of the following year made a historic visit to Israel for talks with Prime Minister Ariel Sharon, marking the first visit to Israel by any Kremlin leader. Due to constitutional term limits, Putin was prevented from running for the presidency in 2008. That same year, presidential terms in Russia were extended from four to six years. However, when his protege Dmitry Medvedev succeeded him as president in March 2008, he immediately appointed Putin as Russia's prime minister, allowing Putin to maintain a primary position of influence for the next four years. Third term as president. On March 4, 2012, Vladimir Putin was re-elected to his third term as president. After widespread protests and allegations of electoral fraud, he was inaugurated on May 7, 2012, and shortly after taking office appointed Medvedev as prime minister. Once more at the helm, Putin has continued to make controversial changes to Russia's domestic affairs and foreign policy. In December 2012, Putin signed into a law a ban on the U.S. adoption of Russian children. According to Putin, the legislation, which took effect on January 1, 2013, 
aimed to make it easier for Russians to adopt native orphans. However, the adoption ban spurred international controversy, reportedly leaving nearly 50 Russian children, who were in the final phases of adoption with U.S. citizens at the time that Putin signed the law, in legal limbo. Putin further strained relations with the United States the following year when he granted asylum to Edward Snowden, who is wanted by the United States for leaking classified information from the National Security Agency. In response to Putin's actions, U.S. President Barack Obama canceled a planned meeting with Putin that August. Around this time, Putin also upset many people with his new anti-gay laws. He made it illegal for gay couples to adopt in Russia and placed a ban on propagandizing non-traditional sexual relationships to minors. The legislation led to widespread international protest. Chemical weapons in Syria In September 2013, tensions rose between the United States and Syria over Syria's possession of chemical weapons with the U.S. threatening military action if the weapons were not relinquished. The immediate crisis was averted, however, when the Russian and U.S. governments brokered a deal whereby those weapons would be destroyed. On September 11, 2013, the New York Times published an op-ed piece by Putin titled A Plea for Caution from Russia. In the article, Putin spoke directly to the U.S.'s position in taking action against Syria stating that such a unilateral move could result in the escalation of violence and unrest in the Middle East. Putin further asserted that the U.S. claim that Bashar al-Assad used the chemical weapons on civilians might be misplaced, with the more likely explanation being the unauthorized use of the weapons by Syrian rebels. He closed the peace by welcoming the continuation of an open dialogue between the involved nations to avoid further conflict in the region. 2014 Winter Olympics In 2014, Russia hosted the Winter Olympics, which were held in Sochi beginning on February 6. According to NBS Sports, Russia spent roughly $50 billion in preparation for the international event. However, in response to what many perceived as Russia's recently passed anti-gay legislation, the threat of international boycotts arose. In October 2013, Putin tried to allay some of these concerns, saying in an interview broadcast on Russian television that we will do everything to make sure that athletes, fans and guests feel comfortable at the Olympic Games regardless of their ethnicity, race or sexual orientation. In terms of security for the event, Putin implemented new measures aimed at cracking down on Muslim extremists, and in November 2013 reports surfaced that saliva samples had been collected from some Muslim women in the North Caucasus region. The samples were ostensibly to be used to gather DNA profiles, in an effort to combat female suicide bombers known as Black Widows. Invasion into Crimea Shortly after the conclusion of the 2014 Winter Olympics, amidst widespread political unrest in the Ukraine, which resulted in the ousting of President Viktor Yanukovych, Putin sent Russian troops into Crimea, a peninsula in the country's northeast coast of the Black Sea. The peninsula had been part of Russia until Nikita Khrushchev, former premier of the Soviet Union gave it to Ukraine in 1954. Ukraine's ambassador to the United Nations, Yuri Sergeyev, claimed that approximately 16,000 troops invaded the territory, and Russia's actions caught the attention of several European countries and the United States, who refused to accept the legitimacy of the referendum in which the majority of the Crimean population voted to secede from the Ukraine and reunite with Russia. Putin defended his actions, however, claiming that the troops sent into Ukraine were only meant to enhance Russia's military defenses within the country, referring to Russia's Black Sea Fleet, which has its headquarters in Crimea. He also vehemently denied accusations by other nations, particularly the United States, that Russia intended to engage Ukraine in war. He went on to claim that although he was granted permission from Russia's upper house of parliament to use force in Ukraine, he found it unnecessary. Putin also wrote off any speculation that there would be further incursion into Ukrainian territory, saying, such a measure would certainly be the very last resort. The following day, it was announced that Putin had been nominated for the 2014 Nobel Peace Prize. Syrian Air Strikes In September 2015, Russia surprised the world by announcing it would begin strategic airstrikes in Syria. Despite government officials' assertions that the military actions are intended to target the extremist Islamic State, 
which has made significant advances in the region due to the power vacuum created by Syria's ongoing civil war, Russia's true motives have been called into question, with many international analysts and government officials claiming that the airstrikes are in fact aimed at the rebel forces attempting to overthrow President Bashar al-Assad's historically repressive regime, personal life. In 1980, Putin met his future wife, Lyudmila who was working as a flight attendant at the time. The couple married in 1983 and had two daughters, Maria, born in 1985, and Yekaterina, born in 1986. In early June 2013, after nearly 30 years of marriage, Russia's first couple announced that they were getting a divorce, providing little explanation for the decision, but assuring that they came to it mutually and amicably. There are people who just cannot put up with it. Putin stated, Ludmila Alexandrovna has stood watch for eight, almost nine years. Providing more context to the decision, Ludmila added, Our marriage is over because we hardly ever see each other. Vladimir Vladimirovich is immersed in his work. Our children have grown and are living their own lives. In Orthodox Christian, Putin is open about his faith, 